This is a simulation board of a pressure hold system. When I say pressure hold system, that means when air is introduced to the system at the air inlet, the pot stays pressurized even though the dead man is not engaged and there is no blasting uh, going on. What happens is you have a control valve here with a signal or a supply air line and a signal air line. On your dead man control, you have a orange line that sends air supply to this point where there's a mechanical shutoff. It is not until you depress the handle on the dead man control, then it then opens up the channel for that supply air to go down the signal line, which is the black line. This allows for that mechanical shutoff to open, sending signal pressure down the black control line on your twin line assembly to the control valve, opening it up. And at the same time, your auto air valve and your Thompson valve open to start your blasting process. It's not until you release the dead man that both these valves shut, but at the same time, you still maintain pressure in your blast pot until you manually, manually blow it down. This simulation board depicts an additional feature we offer. This is what we call our abrasive cutoff. It allows the operator to turn his abrasive off while still maintaining airflow at the nozzle. This is typically used when you want to blow off your workpiece after blasting or from elevated positions, purge your blast hose before shutting down. You can see here we have a control valve, which is air operated for your abrasive cutoff. This comes in either a pneumatically control style or an electrical switch style uh, for both types of control systems.